born and raised in uh, northern New Jersey, Patterson area, and uh, came to Michigan to go to Calvin College back in 1948. And since then have been in Michigan, Flor uh, Chicago, Florida, and back in Michigan since 1964. It was 1946, I was 16 years old, and with my 15-year-old friend, we were delegated by our Young Men's Society and my church in New Jersey to uh, attend what was then known as the Christian Reformed Federation of Young Men's Society. It was night, and uh, I was sitting in a seat by myself. My friend was across the aisle in the bus. And I heard the voice of God. It was awesome, and it really was. I didn't hear him speak words. I couldn't have heard him audibly with my ears. I don't remember any words that he spoke, but I knew deep down that God at that moment was calling me to prepare for ministry. And I never looked back, and I've never been sorry. He was calling me not to become a doctor, not to become a lawyer, but to become a minister. But after, in my ministry, it became increasingly important because there were times when I was overwhelmed with busyness and pressures, and I had to go to God in prayer and say, look, Lord, it wasn't my idea to become a minister, you know. You called me to it, and you have to give me the strength and courage to face what I have to face, and he always did. Well, when he graduated back then from seminary, we were processed by synod and declared candidates for ministry and uh, then we wait for churches to call. We didn't uh, advertise ourselves, we didn't promote ourselves, we simply had to wait for a church to call. And I had four calls at that time, and Chicago was one of them. And that's where I really learned to do ministry. Seminary taught me the stuff. Rosalind taught me how to put that stuff into practice in the life of a congregation. My ministry in, in Florida was largely a 1 Corinthians 12 ministry, where Paul wrote, the body is one with many different members, and the hand cannot say to the foot, I don't need you. The foot has its function, the hand has its function. So in Chicago, I felt that I received a whole lot, I grew. In Florida, I felt that I gave a whole lot, and the church grew, and I'm thankful for that. The church, the community of people, you can disagree with all kinds of situations or problems or purposes or uh, initiatives, but the, the Spirit leads the church, the community of people. And sometimes that demands that we simply wait and keep praying and keep hoping and keep listening and keep exploring. I, I have a daughter who graduated from Kelvin Seminary. That's Leanne, became president of Columbia Seminary in Decatur, Georgia. I also have a granddaughter who is currently functioning in Christian Reformed Ministry as pastor of the Kelvin Christian Reformed Church here in Grand Rapids. I think that makes me feel great. It's like any minister who says, well, how many, how many people in your ministry went into ministry themselves, having been inspired by your ministry? And that's always kind of a feather in your cap to be able to say, well, this many or that many. But it's, it, it is, it is gratifying when my ministry has resulted in the ministry, not necessarily the, the pulpit ministry, but the ministry of others within the life of the church.